So that lift fan, that, that scoop at the top, is actually where you get all the extra air into the engine and into the lift fan. So the aircraft hovers by having thrust coming out at the back, so the nozzle that twists down and does this. And at the front, the doors open up, doors on the top and on the bottom open up, and the big lift fan at the front spools up. You can hear it, off it goes. And so you have hot air coming out and down at the back and cold air going down at the front. So that's how we actually balance the aeroplane when it's flying, when it's hovering. So there's no lift coming off the wings at that stage. There's not enough airflow across the wings. So if we want to pitch down, yes, you, you ask less of the fan at the front and more of the engine at the back, and the jet does that. Do the reverse, does that. And then under the wings, you can't always see it, but there's two little doors that open, just like the Harrier used to have as well. Um, and we blow hot air from the engine more or less on those, and that controls you left and right. So that's how you fly the aeroplane when you are in stovel mode, when we're in hovering mode. That's what it's for. And the reason it comes up as we're slowing down is because at some point the aeroplane has to go from being an aeroplane to being a hovering aeroplane. And so it opens up in time to get all that extra air through the engine and, all, and the fan to spool up. And then as we slow down, we run out of lift on the wings and become entirely dependent on the engine. And then the other way around, when we're taking off, we launch on the ramp. The ramp actually throws us up into the air, puts us up towards the, uh, the sky instead of the sea. Um, and then as we get fast enough, a little button illuminates in my cockpit. I press the button and the aeroplane slowly transforms back into a normal aeroplane, gets rid of all the extra drag. The fan is no longer required. It comes off a clutch, stops, and off you go. That's how it works. That's what it's for.